G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo. Great to see you all again. So, just to walk you through up to where we're at at the moment. As you can see, the whole site has been cleared and we've, we've dug all of our footing strips for our foundation work. Now what we need to do is start boxing up for our form work and then we will get our plumbers in. They'll start putting in all of the plumbing that we need for sewer, storm water, etc. Anything that goes through or under the slab. Then we'll sand it, plastic it and start rearing it and then I'll get the guys in that do the pipe work for all of hydronic heating and cooling. It's critical at this stage to go back to your surveying. Now before we even started this project we got land surveyors. So they came out and they gave us a plan and they gave us a number of white pegs to be working off. What that does is it gives us all of our boundary lines and any measurements that we need, we can work off those pegs all the way around to establish the site for the home to be built on. It also helps with finding our boundary lines because this brick wall here is a double brick wall and it's on the boundary line. We don't obviously want to go over that boundary line. We need to waterproof the back of the brick wall and we also need to run an aggie drain as well to keep the water away from especially this part of the house, but we don't want rising damp going up and down that uh, brick wall, the double brick wall. We're not gonna be able to get to it later, so we need to get to it now. We're gonna run a new string line, and then we're going to do a re-establishment of all of our points of construction before we get into doing all of this form work. The reason we need the points for construction is that we need to know our critical points for storm water, for sewer, electrical mains, uh, and any other amenities that we might have like hydronic cooling or heating or anything like that. When the excavator driver was in and out of the site getting rid of all of this soil he hit our hurdles a number of times and because he's hit our hurdles a number of times we need to make sure that our our lines before we start our formwork and absolutely smack on for that critical path. It also helps with, the critical path also helps with making sure that if there's any points in the construction of the home that are high weight transfer points or points that are going to take a high load that they're in the correct position we don't want to stuff that around for later we need to make sure we've got that at this stage now thanks for watching any questions or queries flick them over i'll answer them for you best i can whenever i can and like always stay unreal banana peel i'll see you in the soup